Hello everyone. Last week I made a video where I completed one death battle opinion format. I highly recommend checking that out by the way. For this video I originally wanted to complete a new format that I made not too long ago. But I decided to wait until I get to know more franchises before doing it. So for this video I'll complete one of the two formats that I showed last time. This one is made by Minato Emisato on Discord so thanks for letting me use your format. This format would ask me for a matchup I want for a specific reason. You'll understand by just looking at it and seeing me do it. Before I start I just wanna say that there are a lot of matchups here that I want for other reasons that aren't just limited to their spot but I will only focus on why I chose the matchup for that slot. For example, if I like a matchup because of the potential and connections I'll put it in the potential spot and focus on the potential while briefly talking about the connections. I think I made everything clear here so let's just start with the first spot. The connections slot. There are a lot of matchups I like because of how thematic they are or just because I like the single connections between the characters. But honestly I'll go with the most thematic one. Darth Vader vs Saber. I love Star Wars matchups and want Vader to return. And while Saber isn't my favorite in Fate Zero I still really like them. The connections are mucho texto for me to keep up with so here's something that I haven't wrote that has the connections. Yep I'm that lazy. The original chosen ones with special laser swords, Anakin's Skywalker being given immense significance in universe to the point of having a force echo in the Force Awakens and Excalibur obviously being of great importance, who were accompanied all of their life by a wise mentor who'd make tons of wisecracks and smartest comments Merlin and Obi-Wan Kenobi, a trustworthy squadron of soldiers heralded as the greatest of their time, the Knights of the Round Table and the 501st Legion, with a close personal friend who'd live on past their falling even when suffering from injuries Bedivere and Captain Rex, who would serve on long enough to see the redemption of their friend. Bedivere seeing Goddess Rongdominion return to herself and Rex serving during the Battle of Endor where Anakin redeemed himself and a younger warrior with a laser sword who looked up to them but would come to face them in battle anyway. Mordred Pendragon and Ahsoka Tano. The two were corrupted by dark forces fundamental to the universe and humankind that turned them into black clad knights of terror with masks that would inspire fear into others with their very appearance and act significantly more menacing and robotic, whose laser swords even changed color to reflect such. Eventually they would be defeated anyway by younger aspiring heroes who would succeed them, Shiro Imiira and Luke Skywalker, and have connections to their past. Shiro being the adopted son of Saber's former master who was adopted due to the actions caused by Saber destroying the Grail and Luke being Anakin's son who fought to redeem his father. The two also have a significant story relating to a younger version of Fem's elf, Saber Lily and young Anakin. Both are also shit dads. Is really good and probably one of the most thematic matchups I've ever seen. It is my favorite matchups for both. Better than Garmadon vs Vader or Luke vs Saber. There could be a lot of fun potential in this one and I would really like seeing fate on death battle. And I guess Vader returning would be cool as well. So let's just move on. The next slot is for a matchup I like because of the potential. Just like connections there is a lot of matchups I like because of the potential. There are a number of matchups that I could have gone with. But can't because I'll talk about them in the next videos. So for now I guess I'll go with. Senator Armstrong vs Funny Valentine. The connections for this one are solid. But the potential is what sells this matchup to me. You could have a really impactful and destructive battle with a badass track. It would be cool to see Valentine's hacks in the fight. They could be used in a really creative way. That's it for this slot. It's just a really great matchup. Next up is the slot for a matchup I want for the music potential. The perfect choice for this one is Ness vs Frisk. I don't know the characters all that much. Heck I don't even know how Frisk fight. But the music potential for this is fire. TGM already made a fantastic track for this one. I'll leave it down in the description. And even without listening to Unbound Determination I could tell that this matchup could have an amazing track thanks to both series being known for their great music. And I always wanted an Undertale character in. While it isn't Son I'll still think having Frisk would be interesting. And Ness is cool as well I guess. I'll move on for now. Next is Dialogue Potential. This is a hard one for me since I don't have much imagination with dialogue. I have two choices. Mr. Incredible vs. Soldier 76 which is a thematic matchup with fun dialogue potential, but is awful in every other aspect. And the other one is Hanzo vs. Kenshin. I see people disliking that matchup. I personally don't know why because it has a cool theme with both being great swordsmen who gave up on their weapons because of their past mistakes. The only reason I heard is that Kenshin should have a fight with an equally popular anime swordsman. This is a dumb reason honestly. But moving on. Yes I think this has a lot of great dialogue potential. You could have them refuse to kill each other while realize that they have no better option but to do so. You could even have a really emotional ending with the winner looking at the loser's body knowing that he hasn't changed and inside he is still a monster. I would also really like to see these guys. Hanzo is one of my favorite characters in Overwatch. And while I only seen the first live action Kenshin movie, 
It is tied with Scott Pilgrim vs. The World on my favorite movie ever. So yeah I really like this matchup and both characters. I'll move on to the next slot now. Next is the slot for a matchup I want because I want to see the characters in death battle. So fun fact about my last video. Ninjago and the Dragon Prince aren't the franchises I want the most in death battle. Sure I still want them in but honestly I want Hotline Miami in death battle way more than I want them. Is genuinely an amazing series with incredible gameplay and a depressing yet great story. And the my favorite matchup for Hotline Miami is Jacket vs CJ. Grand Theft Auto is also a franchise I really want in death battle since it has interesting stories with fantastic gameplay. Even though CJ is far from my favorite protagonist in the series. Heck I prefer Cloud over him. And they would probably have a big smoke joke in the analysis so please kill me. But anyways I don't like this matchup just because of it has Jacket and Grand Theft Auto. It's also really good in terms of potential. You could have a gunfight between the two and use Jacket's different masks. This could be similar to Snake vs Sam except way more aggressive. I would love to see a scene where both would have a Kartana fight. And it should have a super brutal death. Because what's the point of having Jacket in without a brutal death? Apparently CJ wins which is pretty cringe. Oh yeah and there is also John Wick vs Jacket which I think is more thematic and could be fun too. Next is the slot for a matchup I want for the legacy. I honestly don't care about what other people like or hate when I look at a matchup. But I guess I'll go with Ash vs Yuji. Not the most thematic but in my opinion way better than Lucy vs Ash. And both have such an iconic rivalry that is almost obvious that they would fight each other at some point. Maybe even in this season. Yeah Yuji stomps hard but I mean most Pokemon matchups are stomps anyways from what I hear. Plus Masters of the Universe is a really based track and I always wanted to see a death battle where both characters use summonings that aren't just one monster. The last slot is a free slot. I could put any matchup I want here for any reason. I'll go with a matchup that would fit all the past slots. I guess I'll go with Hellboy vs Nero. I like the theme of demon hunters who are part demons. The potential could be great. I would love to see their different abilities clash and the longer it gets the more abilities they use. The track could feel really powerful and the dialogue could be enjoyable. I would love to see an analysis on Hellboy and learning about new characters like Nero is always good for me. And is really popular with most people loving it. Is in my top 5 most wanted matchups and I wish it happens at some point. Ok we've reached the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. These were all my opinions. If you disagree you could leave a comment and we would have a peaceful discussion. As long you respect my opinion I'll respect yours. My next video would probably be about something other than death battle. Though I will go back to making death battle content soon. But anyways thanks for watching see you in the next video.